Jake. So this is gonna be a reading for mid-June to mid-July. You didn't ask a question. If you do want to ask a question, all you have to do is send me an email at portugypsy at gmail.com. Um, but thank you so much for sponsoring me. I really do appreciate it. And so I publicly published your video because I didn't get uh, an email from you, so I don't know where to send you the link. Anyways, but here's your reading. I'm shuffling here my traditional tarot. And then I'll be clarifying with Doreen Virtue's uh, angel cards. It is really hot here. Humiditities. Um, anyways, so one more shuffle. So, your three most dominant energies for these next 30 days, I'll call it this, uh, you know, 15th through the 15th type of deal. You have a tower moment, a breakdown of your belief system, a breakdown of a structure, and... And this is you, you're the tower, you're the one, you know, who's up in flames. This building represents, like, you know, establishment, uh, stability, and it's gone up in flames, so everybody's jumping the fuck out, um, because you're no longer stable, you're, you know, literally the lids come off. Lightning has struck. And then here you have the Queen of Pentacles. She is a matronly woman. She could be divorced. She looks like she's older than you. And she's holding on to her pentacles. She knows how to save her money and hold on to her money. And then you have here the Ace of Swords, which is really good for you, Mr. You know, Trouble Magnet. Um, this means that going forward, your troubles will be sliced through like a knife going through butter, like this sword going through butter. <laughs> so things will just happen that easily for you. Um, but let's clarify a little further. Let's clarify the tower moment. See what that's about. Nine of Swords, it's something that's been keeping you up at night that you haven't been sleeping. You've even been having respiratory problems, uh, not being able to eat, stomach cramps, headaches, mood swings, and feelings of worthlessness. There is another lady. You have options. Uh, this is the Queen of Wands. So versus this queen who is here, she's focused on her money. This queen is very fiery. She's... Uh, you know, action. That's what she's about. She's she's probably a fire sign, whereas this one is probably an earth sign. Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So to clarify your Ace of Swords, you have the Ace of Cups. I, you just can't make this shit up. Look, two aces. So this is like super good, muy bueno, and this one's inspired by love. You have options here, so I don't I don't know which one of these two is the one that you're, you know, considering. I'll leave this out actually. I was about to pick them up. So we're gonna put those aside for a second. And use the angel cards to further clarify. Most important messages for Jake. For the month of June 2019. The King of Air. So this is about you being diplomatic and professional. Also very impartial, not biased. 
and speak your mind in an unbiased, professional, diplomatic manner. You have a problem doing that. You have a problem maintaining the diplomacy. You start getting pissed. So you're being encouraged to speak your mind with confidence, with diplomacy, with professionalism, and being impartial as you speak the words. Um, finding a balance between being mental and emotional in how you communicate. So, let's see what else. Six of Earth. Someone sees talents in you. Someone's giving you a gift of either money, time, effort, or something of value. It might not be actual money, but it's something of value. Perhaps a debt is forgiven. Perhaps somebody invests in your schooling or I don't know. Somehow, you know, like karma or dharma, should I say, is paying you back through a different means. Also, this could be indicating a, a brand new career path. And here to clarify these two aces, we have the nine of water. And it's talking about your wish coming true. All of your concerns fading away, finding a new love for life. But this is also talking about love with love. Like you're, you're falling in love with love. You're in the depths of your water, being a water sign. I love that that's how your reading ends here. Um, on the undercurrent, you have the ten of water. This is literally at the bottom of the deck. And so there's something, a question, something that you've been in doubt about, and the answer lies within your childhood. There's like you're reminiscing about your childhood, your nostalgic or it could even be that someone from your past is turning up this is also good relations between family members and generations of the family um, the trusting bonds are being restored and and it's really trustworthy relationships that you guys are um, experiencing here let me put this one to the side all right, so let's move on with your Archangel message. Psh, psh, psh. Your Archangel that wants to work with you. you just plopped right out. It's Archangel Zadkiel, and it goes right alongside with this King of Air. They're saying to, you know, balance out your emotions and your... Um, your logic. You can't be one way or the other. It has to be a balance, a combination of two. And so Archangel Zadkiel is here helping you seek and find and obtain the balance that you're lacking. Also, this is an indication that it's, uh, it's imperative that you cooperate and compromise and wait for divine timing. So, patience. Archangel Zadkiel can only help you if you ask. I can't make that call for you, Jake. You have to do it yourself. So, I do hope that you enjoyed your reading. Once again, thank you so much for sponsoring me. I hope you have a wonderful month. Bye.